Japan is considering resorting to the World Trade Organization WTO, to file a complaint against China due to its ban on importing Japanese fishery products, following the release of treated radioactive water from the Fukushima nuclear plant. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yoshima Zahayashi, stated that Japan will take necessary actions, including steps at the WTO, as it believes that China's ban lacks scientific grounds and is unacceptable. Despite the tension, Japan seeks to avoid a diplomatic dispute and urges China to act constructively to establish a more stable relationship. Japan's Ministry of Defense has reported deploying a fighter aircraft to monitor a Chinese military aircraft BZK-005, which was spotted flying between Yonaguni Island, the westernmost of Japan, and Taiwan. This spy plane originated from the East China Sea north of Taiwan and headed towards the Bashi Channel, separating the southern coast of Taiwan and the Philippines. This action adds to recent dispatches of Japanese Air Self-Defense Force fighters to intercept Chinese bombers near Okinawa and drones spotted near Taiwan. In Okayama, Japan, a curious tactic has been implemented to capture small venomous fire ants, a recently discovered invasive species in the Miyoshima port. These insects, Wasmania aeropunctata, native to Central and South America, can cause painful stings and harm the local ecosystem. Faced with the need to trap them, Okayama authorities opted to use the popular Kapala bison snack from Kalbi Incorporated that contains essential ingredients for ant larvae growth. Despite surprising the manufacturer, this measure has proven effective in eliminating the fire ants from the port area. This summer's heat wave is threatening the rice harvest in eastern Japan and could lead to water shortages in the Tokyo metropolitan area for the first time in seven years, authorities warn. In Minami Uonuma, known for its koshai hikari rice, farmers like Takashi Seki are dealing with withered plants and parched soils. Rainfall has been scarce, with agricultural reservoirs nearly empty. In Tokyo, Governor Yuri Kokoi urges residents to conserve water due to drastic declines in supply levels. Reservoirs are operating at much lower levels than usual. All assembly lines at Toyota's plants in Japan have come to a halt due to a computer issue affecting the system responsible for incoming auto parts. While not believed to be a cyber attack, the exact cause is under investigation. The shutdown involves 28 assembly lines across 14 plants, and it's unknown when production will resume. Despite the recent easing of computer chip shortages and other auto parts, this closure poses a new obstacle for Toyota, which manufactures a variety of models including Camry, Prius, and luxury Lexus vehicles. A study backed by the Ministry of the Environment reveals that the effects of global warming will make typhoons more destructive, with stronger winds and heavier rainfall. This forecast is based on supercomputer analyzes and suggests that human and economic impacts will be more severe. Japan has already experienced the impact of more intense storms, like typhoons that flooded areas of Tokyo and Kansai International Airport. Typhoon water content originates from warmer seas, increasing evaporation and atmospheric moisture, resulting in more powerful storms. These findings underscore the importance of addressing climate change. Yukikra, a mother who faced the challenges of dealing with her son's selective eating due to mitochondrial disease, has created a seasoning called Mog Fury Cake to help children get essential nutrients in a more enjoyable way. Developed from her personal experience and in collaboration with pediatricians, this seasoning is designed to be incorporated into daily meals, such as rice. 
The product, produced with the assistance of a food company, contains at least 20 nutrients, including vitamins A and C, and calcium, and has gained popularity among parents concerned about their children's eating habits. Researchers from Kanazawa University have developed a protocol for manufacturing nanopipettes that enable high-resolution, nanoscale scanning iron conductance microscopy SICM, imaging of living cells. This technique provides valuable information about cellular structure and function at the nanometer level. Through this process, nanopipettes with optimal geometry for superior microscopy performance were created. SICM uses nanopipettes to control the distance between the sample and the pipette through ionic current. The method allowed detailed observation of cellular processes such as endocytosis and the formation of extracellular vesicles, which could have applications in diagnosis and therapy. A study led by Professor Shinya Hiyasaka from the Faculty of Human Sciences at the University of Tokyo City has revealed that elderly individuals who bathe in a bathtub more than seven times a week have a lower rate of depression compared to those who bathe zero to six times weekly. This research used data from the JGES, Japan Gerontological Evaluation Study, conducted on individuals over 65 years old in 2010 in municipalities across the country to explore the correlation between bathtub bathing frequency and depression. It was found that daily bathing could prevent depression in the elderly, which in turn could help prevent the need for long-term care. The results suggest that daily baths could have a positive impact on the mental health of the elderly. The economic burden rising from preventable cancer exceeds 1 trillion yen, highlighting the importance of reducing risks such as infections, smoking, and alcohol consumption. According to the National Cancer Center, society spends around 2.86 trillion yen annually due to cancer, with over 1 trillion yen related to preventable risks. Costs include medical expenses and income loss due to treatments. This analysis underscores the need for preventive measures, as cancer has been the leading cause of death in Japan for decades. Actions such as lifestyle improvements and regular checkups are expected to reduce these costs. The researcher has worked hard to get the data, please like, subscribe and share.